All right, so this is the final trial. Uh, it's the last day in any run, uh, and it's it's the same strat regardless of which run you do. Uh, although, you know, for certain skill levels, uh, you can have more or less blues uh, and reds going into bullbacks. For a beginner, I would definitely recommend a lot of reds because uh, you have to mash pretty fast. So first off, we're gonna grab 15 yellows and 85 blues. And then we're going to throw three of our yellows onto that island that is to my top right here. And then dismiss so that we don't have the yellows in our inventory, I'm sorry, in our party anymore. And then whistle all the blues that we dismissed there. So you want to put about half and half on these walls, or I'm sorry, on these bridges. I like to put more on the first bridge just because it takes longer. So slightly more than 40 on the first bridge and slightly less than 40 on the second one. Just dismiss those guys there. And so you want to throw these yellows across. I like long throwing them here, but if you're not comfortable you can walk up here and regular throw them or long throw them. And so you want to grab some bomb rocks. I only see one here, so I'm going to throw one at that bomb rock and throw the other two in the, uh, the can. And they should pick up the other bomb rocks. Uh, so now you're going to need to long throw all three of them over here, and you want to do them just one right after the other, uh, which can take some practice, so definitely get good at your long throws, because if you if you mess up and you do a short throw, uh, then it'll fall in the water and it'll drop its bomb, so you want to do it like this. And then just destroy that wall. Alright, so normally you would be here uh, a little bit before they're done, uh, so you can use your yellows here to speed up the process a little bit. But say you're new, um, you want to throw you know, some, some number of blues in and some number of reds take out. Uh, obviously the less reds that you uh, swap out, the faster it is because you don't have to wait for them here. But the easier it is to kill bullbacks. So I'll just take out 30 here. 31 actually. And then go over here. And so you're supposed to use the reds um, to get over here to do like a puzzle or whatever, but you can just throw any type of Pikmin there. I, I usually use my yellows, I uh, throw them there. And then you, you do have to finish pushing that box or else it uh, you can't carry the secret safe later on. So finish pushing the box and while that's finishing, uh, put the rest on here. Alright, now we want to destroy this wall as well, and we're going to grab 15 bomb rocks. Alright. So you can two cycle Emperor Bullbacks, um, but I, to be honest, I find, I feel like it's just a harder strat, and I think it's better for beginners just to learn the one cycle anyway. Um, since, you know, it's it's faster and it's more consistent, it removes any RNG from it. Because uh, if you get to his second phase, it's kind of random sometimes whether he, uh, whether he jumps uh, or whether he tries to eat your Pikmin. So what you want to do is just throw 15 bombs right about here on this dark patch. If you throw them too close to him, like right here, then they actually get stunned when he comes out of the ground and they you can't whistle them back to drop their bombs. So just put them right there. And what's going to happen here is, um, so Emperor Bullbax, I'm going to activate him and then he's going to knock me back. I want to whistle all my Pikmin here and then turn around and when I see that he's about to stick his tongue out, I'm going to whistle the yellows to drop their bombs. And that'll make the bombs explode right as his tongue touches them. And that'll actually stun him for the longest time possible. If he eats the bombs, like say you don't whistle them and you just let him eat the Pikmin and eat the bombs, then he actually gets stunned for less time. So you definitely want to you want to stun him when his tongue's out. Uh, and also if you whistle too early, then the bombs can actually explode before his tongue hits them. So watch out for that too. But let me just activate him and show you what it should look like. Alright, and then just throw on his face. Try to throw the reds first, obviously, because they do more damage. Um, but really just seasick throw as fast as you can. Yeah. 
and he should die, and then spit up the secret safe. And you want to zoom in here and try to keep him off camera, because all those particle effects that happen when he dies actually lag the game a fair bit. So, yeah, just put all your Pikmin on there. Uh, you can only hold up to 95, or it can only carry. Uh, only 95 can carry it. You can't have 100 on it, unfortunately. I'm not sure why. But, yeah, so now you can just go back and sit in the glory of your win by pushing down on the D-pad and letting Pikmin carry you to the onion. Which gives you fireworks. Yay! And then time is right when this part gets back. So yeah, that's Pikmin. Um, definitely the first, uh, I'd say days two through four are, are definitely the hardest uh, for eight day. Uh, for seven day, it's days two, three, and six. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's Pikmin. So, good luck.